Hello and welcome to Uncommon Gaming Into the Forge, episode 181, uh, StarCraft II edition. Since now I have a couple of these running simultaneously, I'll just clarify a little bit if the banner didn't give it away. Interesting enough, I thought I was going to be on like episode 181, 182, and I go to, to YouTube and double check, and I go to my folders and I double check, and there's no 181, 182 running around, so maybe if you're like looking at some of those Dragon Ball Fighters videos and it happens to be StarCraft, that's my bad. Um, I don't think that's the case, so I did double check, right? Professionalism and all that stuff. So we're continuing this series now as I, I dive into random, and there was a bit of a hiatus between, um, I guess between when I was previously playing pretty heavily and I was getting into the Zerg, kind of branching into Diamond, and what I'm doing now, where I'm kind of focusing on that game knowledge and just trying to breathe the fun uh, for me, back into this game, because this ladder anxiety uh, is still there, and it's still something I, I'm, I'm fighting with. So, playing random for me is not only expanding that game knowledge, but it's making it these these losses a little soft. And um, we'll see if that's a, a thing that helps me get over it. I do love this game. I'm having a blast doing it. And what you're going to see soon is I have some new graphics. I'm currently a trial member for a new team, uh, and I'm hoping to do a lot of content for them. So, they've already... Hand me some some wonderful uh, in-game stuff. I'm going to try out, see if it feels right for this series. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I just use it when I'm doing uh, all inspiration content. So I'm going to go ahead and hit ranked, and we'll see how long it takes to get a game while I kind of do this, you know, mumble, randall, ramble, randall on thing. The randall on thing. You know, uh, while I ramble on a bit. So, so far, I'll get into, I get to relatively good matches uh, appropriate to my rank when I'm Zerg. Sometimes, or when I pull Zerg, Sometimes those matches are a little unfair, and I, I just kind of just have a better army with some basic macro, and I'm still doing my Roach build there. Terran's usually a bit of a challenge, but I can win some of those games. Protoss seems to be a hit or miss. Um, I either absolutely get stomped because I don't know how to build units, and I haven't actually dug into a build, or... Um, hit that button. Um, or I actually make some progress, I guess. It's, it's all kind of dependent on this enemy, but it does look like we are... Random versus Zerg here on Acid Plant LE. Looking to have some fun. So you can see, you got a little name tag up there. Um, all in's got some websites and stuff over on the right hand side. I'll probably work on this graphic myself and kind of personalize it. But it looks like it is going to be a protest game. Hey, Day 9. You know, I like Day 9 on this, uh, the voice actor, just because he's, he's positive. And, uh, yeah, I kind of took a lot of that positivity from his early. Um, his early works. I wanted to be, um... Oh, here we go. Good luck, have fun. Pew. I, I tried to take that positivity from him as an early lesson, and... We'll see. We'll see if I can maintain that. It, sometimes it's really tough when you're just getting stomped. Alright, um... Yep, get over here. A little behind here. I learned, actually, how to do this in a minute. Uh, there. There we go. And he's gonna that, and you guys can't do that yet. I mean, and by that and that, as I say, uh, words, you guys shouldn't all be moving from those crystals. You can't mine from a, from a, from a gas thingy without an assimilator. But I want you to. I would love some gas right now. And, you know, at this point, I'm still kind of just feeling out what, what feels right. Trying to find that right timing for the Nexus. Maybe I should be putting down the, um, what's this building? Um, the Cybernex Core right about now, right as this finishes, or am I waiting to come down here and place uh, a Nexus? You know, I feel Cybernex Core immediately followed by a Nexus. I just want to make this wall. I want to get um, Stalkers or um, other units out a little faster. So we'll go ahead and pull a mineral off of there. Looks like I'm still doing pro production. I'm going to need another pylon, actually. Um, probably before that Nexus goes. Nope. Oh, yeah, sure. It's already done. Ah, oh, you're sitting over here for a long time. Probably could have done better, but, you know, maybe, I'll get, maybe I won't get supply blocked. Um, that'll make it worth it. They're probably not going to get supply blocked, because I wasn't building... Wasn't building probes, so... Put you on not moving. Get ready to start up. Uh, warp gate, and now I can start pushing out their zerg, so I'm going to go adept. I'm going to put out some adepts, and as I get more minerals, I'm thinking more gateways, keep my, my pylons going. Um, let's get another gas down. That feels 
it feels right. Uh, another, another dip. Let's actually chrono out two adapts here, especially for this reason here. Glory to the there we go. Where shall we march? We are the blades of iron. All right, let's put you back here. Cool. Actually, got to move you down, and I've lost some momentum here. Let's go ahead and get you down. I need to get you back in position. Let's get some of this gas going. Let's not queue up a lot of um, probes. Let's get three probes going over here. And let's just pull the army. All right, let's uh, more. No. There we go. More depths, more gateways. Supposed to be like four gates where you um, you make three gates at home and one out there. Uh, but I'm not sure where I'm missing in my in my gas. Oh, not my gas. My uh, minerals yet. We're not done with you here. And it looks like we can start pumping out. Hopefully, it wasn't Neo Steel's frame. I don't know which one that was again. Uh, but here we go. So make that the right hotkey. Pull out more adepts. Just keep making adepts. Give us some more. Give us some more pylons, pylons and probes. Um, let's get these morphed in. Uh, I don't have any more things I want to do there. So let me get a maxed your line of mineral credit. Uh, morph, 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 morph. Stop, stop hanging out there. Use these minerals. Here, Glory to the and I'm gonna do this building. I'm not gonna do it there. I am gonna do it there, but I'm not. There we go. Because I want to get the uh, adept stuff. Now they're gonna go. They're gonna go down here. Let's go and make some more. And what I'll tell me, hopefully early on, is if they're doing roaches. Glory if they're doing the roaches, table. I. To glory, it shall be done. The probes are falling. That's fine. That's fine. You've maxed your line of mineral credit. Glory to the day long. Now that awaits. Yes, executor. That's bad. Alright, let's go up there. Let's keep making those. Let's start the thing that makes me attack faster. Nope. Alright. What's going on? Did I? Okay, I did some stuff. I don't even know how much I did. And I need to repair my base. You have appropriate everything else. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Whew, I'm saying a lot of words. I'm not doing a lot of things. So, looks like it got repelled. Um, pretty good. But you know what? What we'll do, put a little, put a couple um, zealots in the mix, push it again. Uh, and I believe that's, there we go. We're going to be fine. We are going to be fine. So let's go down here. Maybe there's a third base. Because i got to stay on two. There we go. That'll be fine. Your darling probes are under attack. Oh, really? Okay. Wow, where are they? They're, they're doing a drop. They're just doing a really good drop. enough. Minerals. You're all out of minerals. No Not enough minerals. Oh, come on. I have things that make you fight faster. There it is. Okay. Let's get eight back over to the main base. I don't need as many um Warping, you're all out of go. minerals. No can do. I'm here in the shadows. Upgrade. Not enough. Alright, we're, we're gonna get him. 
You've maxed your I'm here in the shadows. Pylons and probes. Construct additional pylons. Glory to the Daypod. The first Come on. shall persevere. All right, things are happening. They got faster attack. Um, I'm going to start saving up some minerals soon and. Um, Yeah, I'll do that. I have met the enemy. Give us your Let's split. I know how to split, right? I don't know how to split. GG. Whoo! Great bandling connections. Right, that's it. That's me like stumbling through a new race. Um, it feels alright. It feels alright making some adepts, poking some things. Um, I'm not even moving around the map or, or the hotkeys anywhere near as comfortably as I as I am with Zerg, and that means just you know some good things to focus on. I think I'm gonna have to remove that all army key again because uh, it is it is a bad habit that I, I really held on to. And every time I try to get rid of it or make it even farther, um, I didn't have the I'd get close enough in a battle where I could win if I could just have my army, and it um, I was weak. I was weak in those moments. So we're both random. That's nice. Another game, I got my race. Opportunity. I don't trust what he's going to tell me, but I'm going to tell him. Uh, good luck, have fun, Zerg. Here, it's the preferred thing to do. Whether that means anything is uh, another thing altogether. So, oh, I had an overlord. I did not have an overlord. I didn't have an overlord. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna put me behind. Uh, quite a little bit. I'm not going to be able to make drones. Uh, nothing early. If it's a Zerg, that's going to cause me some problems. Uh, but let's go ahead and send this little guy over here. and let's, let's just make a base. There we go. I'll make a 14 hatch. I'm going to wait till like 17 for anything else. You're all out of minerals. No can do. Maybe I'll get myself a nice, quick, cheesy player. And this will be a fast game. one of the, the thought processes here is, you know, just get some games, just like in, um, whenever I'm facing this anxiety, the, the, the key I'm hoping is just to play. Play so many that you can't possibly uh, be stressed out because you have 5,000 games on your belt. It actually reminds me of a recent survey that was on Reddit, if anybody's paying any attention in the community, they, um, he asked people kind of their age, their MMR, how nervous they are when there are games, and there's a correlation between, you know, number of games played in MMR, play more games, get better. Like, that's, oh, too early. That's a relatively simple concept, um, but it also has a direct reflection on, um, you know, how nervous people get. The less nervous you are, the more games you play, um, whether or not that's a direct reflection of how good you are. Just getting over that nervousness um, is a positive thing. It's got a, it's a positive net gain. So, I'm going to save up that larva, get a couple safety links out. I uh, have... Oh, there it is. I didn't see it. I'm gonna have to move a couple more. It's pylon, those are cannons. Um, let's get this pylon here. I'm just gonna keep all these things down here. Because they're gonna help me. Oh, nope, not you. you maxed your line of mineral I can't even rush. I was like, say something cheesy. And it's so much easier. There we go. GG. Didn't see it, didn't scout for it. He took it. That's my natural, and I probably could have pulled back and defended. 
but that's a lesson learned, right? You you get let them let him take the natural, uh, push back his cannons, get something to take care of it, and and don't just throw everything you have at it. So GG, well played. That was episode 181. Just trying to get games in. Uh, about next week, I'll start adding goals uh, in individual win conditions, like I have before, kind of when I practice. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna start things with uh, you know uh, start with things that are equal. Uh, at least achievable with all races. It's going to be not getting supply blocked. Um, yeah, I think that's the first big one, not getting supply blocked and just keeping your money low. We're going to get back to those, back to those fundamentals. They're going to drive the game and really just drive up our ability and skill. Um, I'm also hoping to see some some nifty things from my opponent. And I give it about a month, and I'll start looking into to builds. I don't necessarily want to do nine builds, one for each matchup. I'm looking to do three builds, one for each race that I play, ignore my enemy, and just kind of focus on those macro builds that, that you know, get the diamond. They say you get the diamond without mining gas, right? Just being on top of macro, producing zealots, slings, or marines. I, I do believe it with enough persistence. I'm going to take that a, a little step farther and just pick a good solid macro build, probably the Roach Ravenger I was doing with Zerg, probably something with marines um, and medevacs on Terran. That way I can practice that map control and drops on all sides. And I'm not sure where I'm going with Protoss. I'm thinking something simple with Blink Stalkers or Early Pressure. Maybe I'll practice the the, adept, the Early Adept stuff that seems to be very popular. So that being said, thanks for tuning in. Um, this has been a, a blast as always. Um, even when it's frustrating, I like to say, I like to make sure I'm saying positive things. Because um, that's that's the hard part, right? It's it's This game is going to beat you down at times. It's going to um, make you angry, but... Staying off tilt, saying positive things, and working on that self-improvement, working on things that are going to make you better uh, is really what this channel has been about, and 180 episodes before this is really what I'm trying to do. Um, so yeah, hey, thanks for watching. Go, go play some StarCraft.